The Bible tells us that marriage is an honored event. Paul tells us there are many events and different feelings in life. Three are eternal. Faith, hope, and love. But love is the greatest of them all. Love is a word that contains so much impact, we often find it difficult to define it. Someone said that love wants to give, and because it does, its prime goal is to make the other person happy. It is a desire to please the partner. Love is the soil and climate in which we each can flourish, far superior to what either could achieve alone. Love is unconditional. As good as these definitions are, perhaps none have achieved the beauty and majesty of the Apostle Paul's description of God's kind of love found in 1 Corinthians. Love is patient, love is kind, and is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly, it does not seek its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth, bears all things, believe all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Caitlin, you have always been and always will be the foundation from which we grow. When we met, you met me at my lowest, since then, you have lifted me up like an angel sent from heaven. You are smart, you are beautiful, but you have a heart unlike any other. I promise to love and protect you until I pass, and even then, I will always look after you. I promise to always push forward and to prioritize our love. I promise that I will provide for our future family. I will always love you. You are my one true love. Please be mine. Blake, since the day that we met, I knew you were the man for me. You are the sweetest man that I have ever met. You always go out of your way to make me smile. When I'm having a bad day, you are always there to pick me up. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to be by your side through the peaks and valleys. I will never take you for granted. I promise to choose you every single day for the rest of our lives. I will always love you. You are my happily ever after. Do you receive Caitlin now to be your wife? And do you promise to develop this relationship during your marriage? I do. <laughs> do you receive Blake now to be your husband and do you promise to develop this relationship during your marriage? I do. I accept you, Caitlin. I accept you, Caitlin. To be my wife. To be my wife. With your strength. With your strength. And with your weaknesses. And with your weaknesses. To be loyal to you. To be loyal to you. In health or illness. In health or illness. To trust when I misunderstand. To trust when I misunderstand. To weep with you in sorrow. To weep with you in sorrow. To celebrate with you in joy. To celebrate with you in joy. And to create life with you in reverence. And to create life with you in reverence. I accept you, Blake. I accept you, Blake. To be my husband. To be my husband. With all your strengths. With all your strengths. And with your weaknesses. And with your weaknesses. To be loyal to you. To be loyal to you. In health or illness. In health in, or, or in illness. <laughs> to trust when I misunderstand. To trust when I misunderstand. To weep with you in sorrow. To weep with you in sorrow. To celebrate with you in joy. To celebrate with you in joy. And to create life with you in reverence. And to create life with you in reverence. From this day forward, in the sight of God and man, you are now husband and wife. God bless you. Blake, 
You may kiss your bride. I'm happy to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Hodson.